Hi, everybody. Hello there. I'm Jerry. And I'm Linda. We're the newcomers. We love car rides. We do. And today we have a dandy planned. People up north, way up north here in the villages, think that we've been shorting them. And you know why they think that? Why? Because we have been shorting them. Not wrong. It's so far up there. It's an hour car ride. But today we're going to do it, aren't we? Well, you are. I'm going to be off today. What? But I have my sidekick, Mr. Mike. Come on in, Mike. <laughs> we can called upon here, huh? Yes, we can always count on him. Good morning. Yay. So, well, we're going to drive all the way up, but we're not going to film it. We're going to get up to the Spanish Springs area. Then we're going to start a play-by-play -play of the historic section. Mm -hmm. So I hope you enjoy it. Buckle up. Let's go. There's a golf truck right there. Look at that. All the brands. Nike, Adams, Titleist. Exiting this neighborhood. When you exit a neighborhood, the gate raises by itself. When you enter? When you enter, you have to push a button or hold up your key card. This is my first golf cart experience to Spanish Springs. Yeah, we're at a four-way stop. It's our turn. And we'll take it. I love the Spanish motif up here. Many of you, many of you have been here. <laughs> Bicyclist almost got hit by a car behind us back here. They say that this fountain up here is the fountain of youth. Come up here and splash around in that and uh, you'll stay young. So about when was this built, Jerry? Do you have any idea? I'm going to say, uh, 1990-ish. I don't have my cheat okay. sheet with me today. Yeah. Let's look at that golf cart ahead of us. That's yeah, pretty, huh? Yeah, beautiful. Hello. Everybody's so friendly. So we're going to stop at this stop sign. Can you see on the right, there's a covered wagon. When we moved here, every, every place spot. you entered yep. the villages had a covered wagon. You knew you were in the villages or, or some place that was going to be the villages. Right. And we are in the town square at this time. I'm going to get over in the left lane. We'll take a whole loop around it. I don't think we'll come back this way. WVLG, the radio station on the right with World of Beer. St. Augustine's, uh, the, one of the better restaurants. And the uh, ever popular Dunkin' Donuts. Margarita Republic. Here's the statue of Harold Schwartz that you may have seen before. You see it there on the oh, left. Oh yeah, there we go. Is that the fountain of youth? Uh-huh. Now, I hear, understand that his ashes are inside that. Someone else told me that yesterday. I was at the doctor's office, and he's been here for 30-some years, and he's mentioned about the, Harold's ashes being in there. The founding father of the villages. Oh, look, here's a place we can pull in and show you that uh, the fountain. Well, there you go. Can you That's see beautiful. it across the way there? Yeah. We uh, first came down our lifestyle preview. We came up here and did the trolley ride. And it was really pretty interesting with all the older homes and uh, seeing a lot of them were being torn down and new homes were being built. Now we're parked right next to the Sharon Morse Performing Arts Center. Is that still open? Lots of big, oh yeah, okay. big, big acts there. So what was closed down up here? Uh, the Rialto Theater on okay, the right Rialto. there. See it there, the yep. Rialto. Yep. Was a movie theater. Was there something else that closed? Uh, Katie Bells. Katie Bells. Where's that? I'm not really sure. I think it was way over there on the other side okay. of the square now. But we're heading that way. Maybe we'll get a look. Okay. This is where it all began. Where it began. Well, actually, we're going over to where it began. We're going to cross the old bridge, that exciting. I've never been over that one. It's like riding a log flume, okay. Mike. You have to hold your hands up when okay. we go over. That's where it all began. Okay. We got here in February 20 in March Bend, and we had to wait a year for a bridge. So we Kilwins were landlocked. Is, Kilwins is a great. Uh, Chocolate, fudge, caramel apples, etc. Okay. Nice. Premium candies at premium prices. <laughs> Can you see the Matthews building right there? Matthews and Matthews. You see, that's uh, 
Well, they Arti sure. That's artistically been enhanced to look like an, an old uh, building. They do that in lots of places here. Look like saloons and so banks. So would that be a, a lawyer's office? Blacksmith. Matthews and Matthews? Don't know. Instead of Morgan and Morgan? Yeah. Green light. I'll tell your wife, Jerry. It's a green light. You're backseat driving? Yes. Big flagpole up there. I'm very, going to be very careful here. <laughs> Here we are. Going right past the sales center. So this is... Now what's over here? There's a monument of That's the veterans monument. That's, that's cool. Uh -huh. Buckle up. But we're always buckle up. People that uh, follow us know we are big proponents of seat belts, and I know you are too. Oh, I am. I've only got maybe a quarter mile to get the mail, and I put it on every time. Just Me too. Now this is beautiful going over this bridge. I think you're going to love it. There's a reason people love it up here. That rain last week did help the ponds a little bit. Look at that, straight ahead. Wow. Climbing a Here mountain. Here we go. Okay. You've been over this a few times, huh? Been over it a few times. There's not a lot of room, as you can see from that car ahead no, of gonna, us. I'm gonna pull my elbow in here. Yeah, I'm not gonna let my knee hang out like a lot of people. No. And we're going over Highway 441. little engine that could. Nice. So this would be a little slippery when it snows, wouldn't it? Yeah, and if it's icy out, look out. See the reflectors on that tree? They did. We're over there. All right. That uh, big water tower you see up there, just up to the right, Yep. That is at uh, Orange Blossom Country Club. And we're going past the two dog parks here. I think that's paradise. So why is it that there's always a, a an archery range near a dog park? <laughs> yeah, we're right at an archery range too. I'm gonna pull over here and let, uh, let this cart go by me so that we can get a look at it. Well, we can't really see it. It's behind those yeah. shrubs right there. A nice archery range. Okay, now here's the old manufactured home area. All right, we're in Orange Blossom. Nice and neat, tidy. Oh, it takes a little loop here. Yeah. I'll tell you, my father, he's passed away now. He would have been as happy as a clam on one of these. Oh. My parents were both so unspoiled, as I'm sure yours were too. Well, this would have been luxury living for our parents. And it is, it's beautiful. Now you may have seen in an, uh, our Mailbag Monday a few weeks ago, I posted a picture of an ad that was sent to us. I saw that. That showed $12,000? $12,995 when Harold Schwartz was selling fully complete mobile homes here. And you own the land, which but, is know, here's, here's someone cleaning their driveway, they're, they're, they're painting it. There's so much pride of ownership here. Now here you see a, a newer home built. Would you say that's, here? No, that's uh, not a, that's, it, it is, is that a rec center? Uh, well, that's it's a house. home. What they do is if, if a mobile home is replaced, someone usually buys that lot and will put a home on it. Now I remember that the trolley ride took us through here. Quite a quite a view up here on the left, I think. Yeah, we took the trolley ride as well. We had a great tour guide named Walt. Walt was 84 years old. That makes him about 87 now. Hopefully he's still out and about. Now there are no 
They're not doing trolleys up here anymore, are they? I, I think the trolleys mainly focus on the new area. I think so. Which is a shame if it they is. don't. Because this is really... Well, it's part of it. It's part of the villages. Yeah, it's where, you, where it all began, like you said. You can see the Orange Blossom up there to the right. That's where the country club is. That's the Orange Blossom golf course. We're going up that way. Right. Nice spot here. Yeah, pretty. A little uh, gazebo pier out here. There's the Mark Twain Library, one of the public libraries here in the villages. Remember Mark Twain's real name? Uh, yes, Samuel. Boy, I'm stuck here, Jerry. I'll tell you when you need it. Okay, give me a, give me a while. Give me a while. We'll get back to you. Now, up here in the older section, you have a little more freedom to express yourself artistically in your yards than you do in the newer sections. But remember that. One man's art is another man's nightmare. Now here's a vacant lot. Right, there's one that's been demolished yep. right here. Nice view though. What oh, a, that'll wow. be a very nice home that's, site. Yeah, it will. And you can sit on your back porch and watch people watch playing Duffers. golf. If you ever want to feel good about your golf game, a friend of mine right across the street from me is right on the ace hole of Lowlands. Sit out there and have a beer and watch the people golf, you feel pretty good about your own game. <laughs> Look at the Canadian geese out there. Oh, yeah. We don't see them here in the villages too often, well, but they're... we saw a couple on the way down here. Yeah, they're here right now. A lot of carports in these manufactured homes. So this has got to be the original area. Here's a small manufactured home on our left, and then here's uh -huh. a, a newer home next to it. Right, a couple of newer yep. ones. Uh, I noticed in the original brochure or the newspaper ad, it said that your carport was extra. Isn't that something? It would have been an add-on. Yeah. Well, I've been in the new housing business for 50 years, and always changed. We used to be a we used to, well, a starter home today. 50 years ago was one of the luxury homes. They've gotten bigger, more expensive. Now I noticed when we moved here that these homes occasionally were available for around $100,000. But now I don't think you could buy many of them for $200,000. Well, even so, $200,000, that's, that's a value. A lot of people love it up here. So we're cruising around without any rhyme or reason. I'm not familiar with this area. So if you don't mind getting lost right along with us, just come on. The pest control companies, there's two different companies servicing yards right here. So I'd be curious to see how many of the original people are still up here. They very well could be. Well, I'm sure there is. People that this is, people that could be in their 90s now, and they moved here when they're in their in their 60s. Orange Blossom Country Club has that uh, fantastic pool. We're going to go up there and take a look at it. Okay. Is that the one with the waterfall? That's the one with the waterfall. I've seen, that. I've seen pictures. We're going to go up here and take a look. I don't know if we can video inside, but I'll I'll go up and get you a shot if we don't. Oh, I like that cart. Look at that red, white, blue. 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 Yeah. I'll hop out and take a movie. Okay, please do. The Orange Blossom Country Club has uh, 
the waterfall and it's really beautiful. However, it is membership only. Everybody in the villages can use most of the pools, but not the priority pools. This is one of them. There are not too many. Orange Blossom Hills. So this is the original one, right? This one in Silver Lake. Okay. That pool is a priority membership pool, which means that you have to pay an extra fee to use that pool. Okay. You and I can't just walk in there. So is use... there? There's priority golf memberships also, right? Right. Are they separate? There, there are different categories. Okay. Here's the Hilltop Golf Course. And down here, there's some. It's like some newer homes. So that's the original pool, <laughs> original water tower. I don't know how original that pool is. That's an awfully nice pool. Yeah. Well, let's see, today is Wednesday. Two weeks from tomorrow, we head back to Minnesota. Mike, when you are back in Minnesota, do you miss Florida? I miss it a lot. I miss the people more than the more than the weather. Uh, that's one of the reasons we go home. Like, plus, we have our family there, and I have a business. Uh, it's it's hard to leave. We've got a lot going on back there with the family. Uh, we miss the Minnesota summers, so that's why we're there. In fact, um, they just got some more snow, so the um, I think. January in Minnesota and August in, in Florida is kind of God's way of reminding us he's still in charge. Well, let's put it this way. When you're in Florida, do you miss Minnesota? Or when you're in Minnesota, do you miss Florida? Well, more? both, both. I think it's, it's kind of even, you know, we always got some place to look forward to. Um, when, we, when we're in Minnesota for a few months, I'm anxious to get back to Florida and vice versa. Um, it's tough. It's harder than I thought it would be because we've made so many good friends here. This is landscaping, mature, yeah. beautiful. I think we miss the people more than, the, than anything. Yeah, me too. You know, Florida landscaping can get out of control. This well, queen palm right up here. Look how long the branches are on it. Yeah. Now that palm has been maintained, but it's a little overgrown at this point. But see, none of these palm trees are native species right here, are they, Jerry? No, this is the northernmost part of villages. Right. Probably zero of these palm trees were here. And we got a blue, a blue roof on the left up here. Now that's one of the uh, roof jobs. I suppose the insurance company came and found him a... Of course, I don't know. I shouldn't say anything. But look how nice and tidy everything is. Most of the homes are white or yellow or a light color. Have yep. you noticed that? I have. You see a little bit of blue here and there, but it's all pastels. This one could use some uh, pressure washing. Yep, you, you see a lot, of, a lot of yard art. Yep, you need to pressure wash your homes in Florida every year or two. Yeah, we have a guy come at least once a year, do the bird cage and everything. pull over and let this cart go by. People tend to get impatient. You know, no matter where you go in the villages, though, you, you, you see it's tidy, it's neat. People care about what they have. And there's always going to be an exception to that, of whether course, you live in no a, where you go, but. a premier neighborhood or here. Yep. But by and large, the people take pride in their homes. A lot more people park outside here because uh, you don't really have. You don't have garages. Very many garages. Yeah, you have Your a carport or nothing. Carport. Yeah. 
like I said, the car part was extra. Yeah. Oh, hey, Ronnie. When I passed you, I said, hey, he looks familiar. You know this guy? The other guys are that big in the golf cart. <laughs> How you doing? Looking real good. Hey, I'm Mike. Rodney. Hey, Rodney. I've seen you on the video. We're glad to see you up here. Totally unexpected. <laughs> and uh, we're looking at your house here. And uh, we're we're envious of your two garages. Yeah, it was a, uh, from what I was told, it was a model home uh, originally built back in the early 90s. And it was built with the two garages, one on the uh, car garage on one side, golf car garage on the other. So, I didn't recognize you when you passed us back there. I, kinda, I said, now it must be somebody filming something. And I went <laughs> zipping by and- They're Jerry. So, yeah, said, good looking I, shirt. I, know that. I said, I know that big body from somewhere. Good looking shirt. <laughs> Thank you. Now you're an ex viewer of the week. Yes, yes, a couple times. How'd that happen? And he is a seasonal Santa. Yes. That's okay. What all this yeah. is for here. Yeah. Another, so do you do you whiten it up in the winter? Yes. Yeah. Another month or so, I'll start whitening it okay. up and be ready for uh, next awesome. season. Awesome. Awesome. So you better be good. <laughs> well, there's not much chance of that. Well, it's good to see you, pal. Tell Jackie hello for us. I will. Yeah, I nice will. meeting you. Nice meeting you also. You take it easy, enjoy your trip around here. It's beautiful up here. We're, we're we lost right now, so we'll just keep on getting further lost and- uh... Continue on out this way. His nickname on uh, YouTube is Tall. Tall, T-A-L-L? Yeah. How'd that happen? Uh, he's a big boy. Okay. So that's his persona or his uh, pseudonym on yeah. YouTube? <laughs> Cutting her grass. God bless, bless her, her heart. God bless her. Got his Ryobi weed eater out. This is the time of year you don't mind doing it. Not a bit. It's beautiful. See, this is a Minnesota summer day right here. Nah. No air conditioning. No heat. We have our 95 degree weather. I know. Hey, we're thinking about coming to see you this summer. Well, you're going to make it. We're going to we're going to see to it. We're kind of going to play it by ear and see when it looks like there's a stretch yeah. of decent yep. weather. Maybe go. You take me fishing. I'll buy the night crawlers and the leeches. And the women love it when you store them in the refrigerator. <laughs> right now at home, there are two containers of night oh, crawlers yeah. and one container of green yeah. worms. Whatever a green worm is. You probably never fish with leeches, have you? Never have. Okay. Get a bobber, get a hook, get a beer. Well, I'm a non-drinker, but I'll get a uh, Diet Pepsi. Diet, yeah. So they got a carport on the left here, and you can't see it, but it's got curtains. Oh, yeah. Here's they slide open and closed. I still can't get used to the difference down here in Minnesota. Everything I look at, I go, they couldn't build this in Minnesota. The snow. Oh, the snow would break these oh, yeah. these uh, carports, carports down. They'd be down yeah, no. Indiana snow would do that. The official season snowfall for the Minneapolis area was 90 inches this winter. So you're looking at the original Orange Blossom Gardens. Now, some of these homes are newer. You can see this. Yep. Only some of them are the true manufactured homes. Many of them have been updated and added on to. We're on Schwartz Boulevard. Schwartz Boulevard. Here we got. I some, believe I will recognize. These, these swans here. <laughs> I believe I'll recognize Harold Schwartz house when we see it. Swans are there and some of the yard art probably wouldn't go too well out up north. I am not a fan of most yard art. Like these geese right here. Well, those are those are really decoys. They're very nice. But if you wait long enough, the real thing is gonna be in your yard. So why put plastic ones? You got some gnomes here on the Yeah, garden gnomes. Yep. One at sunglasses.
you know, get down in the villages where everyone's a little older, definitions change too. Like sometimes to me, a happy hour is just to have a beer and a nap. You know what? I have relatives that never take naps. They say they'll sleep when they're dead. When they're dead. No, no, I'm taking naps. I love a nap. I, I think it's one of the great pleasures of yes. retirement. Yep. To be able to take a good nap. I go up to Lanai and sit in the chaise, and I tell Mary, Mary I'm going to go out and watch golf. She says, no, you're not. You're going to take a nap. But Harold Schwartz, what a visionary to start this yeah. tiny community selling homes for $12,995. That was in the 80s, right? It was in the uh, 70s. 70s. And now, look at what it yeah. I mean, we've got 140,000 people. Look at, that, look at this little golf cart car. That's yeah, neat. It's an atomic, atomic car. Yeah. Tough to golf in that. And there's a wildlife. There is a movement to go back to Florida native grasses and plants. And from what I understand, you're allowed to do that. But boy, I'm not, I'm not a fan. Does not look tidy. Some of these palm trees have been down here a while. There's some monsters. Look at this blue driveway. That's bright. Some could use some water. There's a huge variety of plants, aren't there? We can't tree. keep up with them. It's close to that house. That's one of the problems we had here. Wow, there's some big oak, big oak trees. Uh, we came down here and we kind of figured the nurseries were selling us plants that were hardy here. Well, they're not. You gotta be careful. A lot of my neighbors have, uh, is that a foxtail palm? And they didn't do too well over the winter. Well, you know what? A lot of plants, this was a severe winter here. And a lot of our plants we thought had died. And almost all of them, I think all but one, actually came back. Now, they might have lost enough of their stems that we're going to take it out because it doesn't look yeah, great. Yeah. But as I've told the viewers, we're going to try to go to all plantings that will survive. Yep. The Already freeze. down there. Some interesting palm trees we just passed. Yeah. So how'd you happen to meet Rodney? From viewing a... Yeah, Rodney and Jackie were uh, viewers that just wrote in. Okay. And met uh, uh, probably three years ago or so, we met for lunch one day. They've always been really supportive. We appreciate them. A lot of stuff going on up here. Those trucks that you've been seeing are uh, putting pest control or fertilizer down on the yards. I've noticed a lot of people down here put pots on their driveways. Have you seen those? I have. We've got a few pots. I know they're, they look nice, but they're a lot of work. You gotta water them all the time. I noticed that, uh, I know it didn't show to you folks at home, but they probably had 20 pots on their driveway and they had a drip line on every one of them. Yeah. Otherwise they'll fry. Well, we've got several pots. Mary's water them at least once a day. There's an air conditioning company. Look at this house here on the left. Putting out a, putting in a new air conditioner. Could that be Harold's house? Nope, I'll show nope. you. I'll know it when I see it. But I'll, we'll show you a home that's been put here after a mobile home was torn down. Got the RV garage. You can see. Got the blinds over the Quite garage. Quite a nice place. Wow, beautiful. So 
that's becoming more common. A home like that is not more common. That's a huge home, but people are replacing the original modular homes with big new homes. Like that one. Yeah. If we look at these manufactured homes, they're 30 some years old, but they still look, look great. People take care of them, maintain. Yeah, I've noticed a lot of roofs that look like they're gonna need a, yep. a, uh, attention real soon. And with the current state of insurance, oh boy, that can be a problem. What it sets you up for is a situation where people can't afford the insurance, so they don't get it, and then if they have a tragedy, then they're out, they're in trouble. They're in trouble. There's no law stating you have to have homeowner's insurance. A lot of companies pulled out of Florida. Mike, since you moved here, you had, I know your story. Yeah, I know you do. I know that, uh, it's a sad story. You were not coming. It's a to, sad story. <laughs> you weren't coming here, and you you stopped in one day. And in fact, your wife Mary was pretty much against it. Oh, very much. But you ended up buying here. Now I'm wondering, for either one of you, have there been any unpleasant surprises? None, zero. Everything's been pleasant. Uh, you know, it's, it's a cliche down here. The best part about the villages is the people. It's, it's crazy how, how soon you make friends. People you feel like you've known for two or three years, you feel like you've known them forever. But I hear people say they have trouble making friends down here. I think if you lock yourself in the house, that's the only way you can do that. Well, you know the saying, you have to be a friend to make friends. Yeah, you do. A lot of people come here and want people to come and... Knock on their door, pound Yeah, them. come into their door and, and knock and make acquaintances. And I'll, give, I'll give a little bit of advice. You want to make friends down here? Three o'clock in the afternoon, put a lawn chairs out in the driveway and go sit. If you had a cooler with beer in it, it won't hurt either. Or you could take out a big pot of uh, tea or lemonade and yes. everybody yep. walks by and say, yep. hey, how about a drink? Yep. You put uh, lawn chairs out in the driveway, some of the stuff, there's an old Corvair. Uh, right? Unsafe at any speed. Yes. The. Uh, the book that started Ralph Nader's career, correct? That's right. You know, people say you gotta be rich to live in the villages. You can come down here and buy a $200,000 house, like Harold Schwartz wanted everybody to live like millionaires. You get to enjoy all the same amenities as everybody else. I'd like to see an older couple there. I'd like to know how long they've been here. We're not lost. We know exactly where we are. It's a surfboard. Yeah. Are we lost? No. We're looking for somewhere. We don't know where it is, but we know where we are. Right. We're right here. We are here. We're gonna find it. We're not going home till we find it. Uh oh. Well, like I said, I'm leaving in two weeks, Jerry. We got <laughs> anticipated it to be three, four, or five years ago, five years ago. Four years. That's that's a really good question. The the, the basic thing is I had no expectations. When I heard about it, I, I didn't know a thing. Came down here for a lifestyle, loved everything I saw. Linda loved everything she saw. And then what we expected was, we'll make a lot of friends. Yep. We'll stay fit. We'll have a lot of time to have activities. And we won't have winter. 
And all those things have come true. So the YouTube thing was kind of a surprise to you, wasn't it? Yeah, that was an accident. Yeah. It was a happy accident. But look at all the friends you've made. That's the number one benefit of the uh, YouTube channel has been the, the amazing people. Like Rodney we met back there. Yeah. Like what yourself. Now here's a brand new home. Well, not brand new, but fairly new, right in the middle. No, it's, it's a nice one. Yep. We uh, will not do this channel forever. You know, it, we're here no coming, for... No coming, day. We're here for retirement, and uh, honestly, it's a... It's a second, it's, it's a, like a job for me. Yep. But it's a job you enjoy. I love it. I love it all. So uh, there's Jason Drive. Um, we'll, we'll keep doing it as long as we can. It's tough to put out two shows a week. I imagine well, it'll someday we'll... become a we'll, daily we'll dial her back to one. we we'll dial it back to one show a week and... Because uh, it's only been a couple of years that you've had a regular schedule. It's quite a while. It's almost just, three years now. That you've had a regular schedule? Yeah. It is, huh? We're at 450 some shows. Hard to believe. And our shows have, the average is about 25 minutes, 20 to 25 so minutes. So you probably have an answer for this one. Close anyway. How many total views have you had on all the view on all the videos? We're at about 16 million. Wow. So the name of this video is In, Sh in Search of Schwartz. <laughs> Finding Harold Schwartz. Yeah. We found his statue. Yep. And now we're going to see one of his homes. And Jimmy Hoffa's ashes are under. There's actually another home of Harold Schwartz that we've already come pretty much by. I don't know if we drove right by it or not, but close. Here's the house right here. Okay. That's the original Harold Schwartz residence, huh? Got the garage, the carport. We believe this is the original Harold Schwartz residence. And if it's not, people will let you know. 12,995 dollars. It's got the extra large carport. Of course, it's probably been remodeled probably several times over the years, but that's it. And you know, the thing about that, I've, that I really like about this is that Harold Schwartz sold these homes and he lived in he one. He lived right here. And, you know, I'm wondering. And I've heard people say that he was at the town square having dinner with people. You know, I think it would be nice to think it would be nice to think that the today's people that are building homes and running the villages, that they would build homes that they would be happy and proud to live I'm in. I'm sure they are. That's quite, I wonder if that's a man-made lake pond here. Build a gazebo down by the water. Right there uh, next to Harold Schwartz's house, Schwartz Park, overlooking this beautiful lake. These lakes are mentioned in the advertisement. I'll tell you what, if I could find a place like this in Wisconsin or Minnesota, you know, that that I could afford, you know, just a little mobile home like this with a, on a situation like that, boom. 
I'd be a snowbird. Trouble is, is that places like that don't last long. They tear them down and build big ones. <clears throat> it's changed a lot up there on the, on the lakes. The family cabins are gone. Mike, what would you say is your favorite restaurant since you've moved to the villages? Ah, uh, got a couple of ones I really enjoy. I just uh, been to that Fiesta Grande in Brownwood a couple of times. They got a great burrito. The one that never disappoints is Bluefin in Brownwood. We've been to Chops in Sumter, and that's wonderful. What's your um, go-to meal at Bluefin? Bluefin, I'm between the jambalaya and the fish and chips. Marries the salmon with the tomato basil sauce. Uh -huh. I could almost order for her. I ask you that because I'm eating there tonight. Okay. Fish and chips are really good. I've never been disappointed. The jambalaya is great. Now, th I believe this house straight ahead has been the subject of some controversy. I think it's cool. Because of the garage doors. If you liked our video today, please press that like and subscribe button. Until next time. See you when you get here.